think you've seen it all? Well, buckle up, folks, because Brazil is about to blow your mind with its exclusive wildlife. This vibrant country, known for its samba rhythms and carnival spirit, is also home to an incredible array of unique creatures that you won't find anywhere else on the planet. Imagine a land where the trees are alive with monkeys that shine like golden sunsets, and rivers blush pink with frolicking dolphins. Picture a place where wolves have manes and anteaters resemble giants. Intrigued yet? You should be. Brazil's biodiversity is a treasure trove of wonders just waiting to be explored. These are not your everyday run-of-the-mill animals, oh no. These are Brazil's natural celebrities, each with their own intriguing story, ready to be revealed. So, are you ready for this wild ride into the heart of Brazil's unique wildlife? Ready to meet the natural celebrities of Brazil? Here we go. First, we have the golden lion tamarin, the only primate that doubles as a hair model. This dazzling creature sports a mane that would make any Hollywood starlet green with envy. Now, let's delve into the world of this glamorous primate. The golden lion tamarin, also known as the golden marmoset, is a small monkey native to the Atlantic coastal forests of Brazil. This primate's radiant golden orange fur is so vibrant, you'd think it was kissed by the sun itself. And its mane? A voluminous explosion of golden curls that would make even the most seasoned hairstylist sigh in admiration. This flamboyant creature is not just about looks though, it's an arboreal acrobat, skillfully navigating the tree canopies of its habitat. It's like a trapeze artist of the forest, but with better hair. The golden lion tamarin is a social creature, living in groups of up to eight members. Imagine that, a whole troop of these golden beauties, their luxurious manes glowing in the Brazilian sunlight. But don't let their small size fool you, these primates are feisty and territorial, defending their home range with fervor. It's like they're saying, this is our catwalk, darling, and we won't share it with anyone. So the next time you're having a bad hair day, think about the golden lion tamarin. They're out there in the wild, flaunting their fabulous manes without a care in the world. Now isn't that a remarkable way to live? Scene script. Next up we have the pink dolphin. Yes, you heard right, pink. Who needs a unicorn when you've got a pink dolphin? Now let's dive into the flamboyant world of this extraordinary creature. The pink dolphin, or as the scientists like to call it, the Amazon River Dolphin, is one of the most captivating inhabitants of the Amazon rainforest. Its unique shade of pink is not a fairy tale or the result of a paint job gone wrong. Oh no, this is Mother Nature showing off her creative flair. The pink hue of these dolphins is actually a result of scar tissue. As they age and play, they gain more and more of these scars, becoming pinker all the time. It's like they're blushing from all the attention they get. And who wouldn't? After all, they're the only known pink dolphin species. Talk about having a unique selling point. These dolphins are not just about looks though. They are also known for their remarkable intelligence and agility, navigating the complex waterways of the Amazon with ease. And here's a fun fact. Unlike most other dolphins, they can move their necks in all directions. Quite handy when you're a star and need to strike a pose for your adoring fans, right? So, unicorns may not be real, but hey, we've got pink dolphins. Ever wondered what a fox on stilts might look like? Meet the maned wolf. This creature is a delightful oddball in the world of canines, standing out like a red-headed cousin at a family reunion. Don't be fooled by the name, though. The maned wolf is neither a wolf nor a fox, but a distinct species all on its own. Picture this, a fox-like face, long russet fur, and yes, legs that could rival a supermodel's. Those legs, however, aren't just for show. They serve a purpose in the tall grasslands of central and southeastern Brazil, helping the maned wolf to spot its dinner from a distance. Habitat? Well, the maned wolf is a creature of the night, preferring the cover of darkness for its activities. It roams the savannas and grasslands living a solitary life. Don't mistake its loner lifestyle for shyness, though. When it comes to defending its territory, this leggy canine can be quite the drama queen, marking its territory with a potent scent that's earned it the nickname Skunk Wolf. And its diet? Quite the gourmet our maned wolf. It enjoys a variety of fruits, veggies, and small animals. It's particularly fond of a tomato-like fruit called wolf apple. Talk about having an apple named after you. So forget about werewolves, Brazil's got the maned wolf. Next, we have the giant anteater. This creature has a tongue longer than your average TV remote. Yes, you heard that right. The giant anteater, native to the grasslands and forests of Central and South America, is a fascinating specimen with a tongue that can stretch up to two feet long. 
That's like having a whole yardstick in your mouth, just imagine that. This peculiar creature is a master architect of the animal world, using its long, sharp claws to rip open anthills and termite mounds. And it's here that the anteater's lengthy tongue comes into play. Just like a kid with a lollipop, it uses its extraordinarily long tongue to slurp up thousands of insects in one go. Talk about a tongue-twisting treat. But don't be fooled by its unusual eating habits. The giant anteater doesn't just have a long tongue. It's also got a big heart. These creatures are solitary by nature, but when they do pair up, they form strong bonds, much like that pair of socks that always seem to stick together in the laundry. And what about their habitat, you ask? Well, they're not fussy. Whether it's a lush forest or a grassy savanna, as long as there are ants and termites to munch on, these guys are happy campers. So, next time you lose your remote, just remember the giant anteater probably has a longer one. Let's not forget the capybara, the creature that looks like it couldn't decide whether to be a rat or a hippo. Now, imagine a creature that seems to have borrowed traits from various animals, creating an endearing, if somewhat odd, appearance. That's our friend, the capybara, for you. Hailing from the Amazon rainforest, this creature is a master of adaptation and a testament to nature's sense of humor. The capybara is the largest rodent in the world, and it looks like it's been designed by a committee. It has the body of a pig, the feet of a hippo, the face of a beaver, and the ears of a rabbit. One might say it's the Frankenstein of the animal kingdom, but despite its hodgepodge appearance, it's quite a lovable creature. Capybaras are semi-aquatic animals. They love to lounge in water bodies, using their webbed feet to navigate the waters of the Amazon with ease. Their herbivorous diet mainly consists of grasses, and they have a penchant for aquatic plants. When it comes to social life, capybaras are quite the social butterflies. They live in groups, and it's not uncommon to see a bunch of them lounging around, looking like a quirky gathering of misfit toys. The capybara, with its peculiar looks and charmingly laid-back lifestyle, truly embodies the spirit of the Amazon, unique, diverse, and wonderfully eccentric. So if you ever feel indecisive, just think about the capybara. Moving on from our friendly capybara, we encounter yet another fascinating creature, the Brazilian tapir. Picture this, an animal that seems to be a delightful concoction of a pig and an elephant. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? That's the Brazilian tapir for you. This large herbivorous mammal, despite its hefty size, is an excellent swimmer and diver. It uses its unique prehensile snout, much like an elephant's trunk, to grasp leaves and fruits, making feeding an effortless task. Its bulky body might give the impression of a cumbersome creature, but don't be fooled. The Brazilian tapir is surprisingly agile and quick, especially when a predator is in pursuit. However, despite its size and distinctive appearance, spotting a Brazilian tapir can be quite a challenge. This shy creature prefers to stay hidden in the dense forests of Brazil, away from prying eyes. Its nocturnal lifestyle and solitary nature add to its elusive character. So if you ever find yourself exploring the lush landscapes of Brazil, keep an eye out for this elusive forest dweller. You never know when you might spot one. Now isn't that a thrilling prospect? Last but not least, we have the hyacinth macaw, the world's largest flying parrot. This magnificent bird, standing tall at a length of up to 100 centimeters, is a sight to behold. Picture this, a parrot adorned in vibrant blue feathers, with striking yellow eye rings that make its eyes pop. Indeed, the hyacinth macaw is a living, breathing testament to nature's artistic flair. But don't be fooled by its beauty, this bird is as tough as they come. It possesses a strong beak, powerful enough to crack open even the hardest of nuts and seeds. This is no easy feat, my friends, it's nature's version of a can opener. But what's a parrot without its chatter, right? The hyacinth macaw is a social creature that often gathers in small groups, filling the air with loud, raucous calls. Their vocal performances are quite the spectacle and a treat to the ears, if you appreciate nature's symphony, that is. So if you're ever in Brazil, don't forget to look up. You might just spot a hyacinth macaw flying overhead, painting the sky with its vibrant presence. Now isn't that a sight you'd love to witness? Well, there you have it, folks, a glimpse into Brazil's exclusive and eccentric wildlife. We've traveled through the dense jungles and vast plains, meeting some of the most unique animals that call Brazil home. Let's take a moment to reminisce about the glamorous golden lion tamarind. This small monkey with its regal golden mane is a true beauty queen of the jungle. Remember how its social behavior resembles a royal court? Quite the jungle royalty, isn't it? Then, we dove into the waters and encountered the flamboyant pink dolphin. 
This whimsical water creature is not your everyday dolphin. It's pink, and it can turn its head in all directions. Now that's what we call a head turner. Our journey led us to the uniquely adorable maned wolf next. This long-legged fox-like creature had us all wondering if it's a fox on stilts or a wolf with a fox's head. The mystery continues. We also met the peculiar giant anteater, an animal that has taken social distancing up a notch. With no teeth and a two feet long tongue, it's a living, breathing, ant-eating vacuum cleaner. And how can we forget the bizarre Amazonian capybara, the largest rodent in the world? It's as if nature decided to supersize a guinea pig and give it webbed feet for swimming. These animals have given us laughs, surprises, and a greater appreciation for the incredible biodiversity of Brazil. They've shown us that nature, much like life, is full of surprises, eccentricities, and unique beauty. We would love to hear your thoughts about these fascinating creatures. Which one was your favorite? Do you have any funny or interesting facts to share about them? The comment section is all yours. If you enjoyed this safari through Brazil's exclusive wildlife, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. Remember, sharing is caring.